Welcome back, my friends. Today we'll take a look at adding custom boot animations to your Ambernic RG35XX that give your retro gaming experience a fresh, personalized look. Let's get started. Before we begin, make sure you have the following items ready. An Ambernic RG35XX, Garlic OS installed on your SD card, and if you need help installing Garlic OS, please see our tutorial video. Link is in the description. And finally, a USB card reader or any other means to access the SD card. This tutorial will consist of three parts. Number one, adding custom boot animations. Two, cleaning up the boot animation menus in Garlic OS. And three, how to create your own custom boot animations. Let's dive into the step-by-step -step process. The first thing you'll need to do is download the Boot Animation Switcher by Retro Mateo from rg35xx.com. You can find the direct link in the description below. This tool will allow you to switch out your boot animations with ease. While you're on the website, go ahead and download your preferred boot animations. We've got a direct link to the customization section in the video description for your convenience as well. Now, with your Garlic OS SD card connected to your computer, open the Boot Animation Switcher zip folder, copy the Boot Animations and ROMs folders, and paste them into the root of your ROMs partition on your Garlic OS SD card. Open the coremapping.json file located at cfw config in a text editor. Add the following line to the file and this exact text will also be in the description for easy copy and paste. Then save and close the coremapping.json file. Now open the boot animation zip file you downloaded and copy the boot animations and ROMs folders to the root of your ROMs partition on the Garlic OS SD card. Now disconnect your Garlic OS SD card from your computer and connect it to your RG35XX and power on. In the Garlic OS menu, go to Consoles, Boot Animations, and select your desired boot animation. Your system will restart and play the selected boot animation. This animation will now play every time you power on the RG35XX. To turn off the boot animation, simply go back to the console's boot animations menu and select disable boot animation. And that's it. You've successfully added custom boot animations to your Ambernic RG35XX. But we're not done just yet. Let's spend a few minutes cleaning things up so that the boot animations menu looks a bit nicer. If you want the boot animations entry to appear at the end of your console's menu rather than smack dab in the middle, we can rename the boot animations ROMs folder so that it has two Z's in the front. Since they're arranged alphanumerically, this will force it to appear last in the console's list. Alternatively, if you want it to appear at the front, you could rename it with two A's at the beginning of boot animations. After we do this, we'll open the core mapping JSON file that we opened earlier, located at cfw config, and update the line we added earlier. After we're done, save and close the core mapping JSON file. In the ROMs boot animations folder, edit each of the theme.sh files with a text editor. We want to modify the second line to match what we renamed the boot animations folder to. So in this case I'm going to change it to ZZ boot animations. We can also add a custom icon for the boot animations console menu. Feel free to add your own or you can use the one I created and is available in the description. Copy the bootanimations.png to the cfw slash skin slash system folder. Again, be sure to rename this PNG to match any changes you made to the ROMs boot animations folder. 
To avoid the redundancy of a startup boot logo followed by a boot animation, create a boot logo backup folder in the system partition of your Garlic OS SD card. Then move the bootlogo.bmp.gz file to this folder. Next, copy the boot logo bitmap I've provided in the description to the root of the system partition. This new boot logo is just a completely blank graphic that replaces the normal boot up screen. This way you will only see the boot up animation when you turn on the 35XX. Once we've made these changes, here's what our setup should look like in Garlic OS. but we're still not done yet. There's more. Now, if you're feeling creative and you want to make your own boot animations, here's what you'll need. A short video clip that will provide the basis of our boot animation, VLC Media Player, and Advanced File Renamer. The links to both of these programs will be in the description. Open VLC Media Player and navigate to Tools, Preferences. Under Show Settings, select All. Scroll down and expand Video Filters. Choose the Scene Filter. Set the image format to PNG, the image width to 640, and the image height to 480. Clear the file name prefix and specify the directory in which you want to save the image files. Adjust the recording rate based on your video's frame rate. If your video file is 30 FPS, set it to 1. If it's 60 FPS, set it to 2. Now scroll back up and make sure the Scene Video Filter is enabled in Video Filters, and then click Save. I almost forgot this part, and I really don't want to ruin anyone's day. So after you're finished with the tutorial, don't forget to come back and uncheck this. Otherwise, every time you watch a video in VLC, it'll fill your hard drive with snapshots. Let's continue on. Close VLC and reopen it with the video clip you want to use for your boot animation. As the video plays, VLC will capture screenshots of each frame to the directory we specified. These screenshots will provide the individual frames for our boot animation, but first we need to rename them. Open Advanced File Renamer and drag all of these screenshots into the program window. We need to remove the zeros that are padding the front of the file name. To do so, go to Program, Settings, open the Renaming tab, and uncheck Use Zero Padding. Next, select Add Method, New Name, and select the Incrementing Numbers default tag. The new file name preview shows that the zeros will be removed. Now we can click Start Batch. We now need the audio for our boot animation. Capture the audio from your video file by opening VLC. Go to Media, Convert, slash Save. Add your video file and convert it to Audio MP3. Save it as chime.mp3 to the same folder as the boot animation screenshots. Copy the folder with your image files and chime.mp3 to boot animations slash theme on your Garlic OS SD card. Rename it with a simple and easy to identify name. Now copy the example config text from the boot animations folder into the folder we just copied over and rename it to config.txt. Open this config.txt in a text editor and we're going to use it to specify the parameters of our boot animation. Under author you can add your name if you wish. End frame should be the last numbered snapshot in your boot animation folder. So in my example it's going to be 351. For timing, this should be set to 0.035 
for roughly 30 frames per second animation. Everything else is explained pretty clearly in the file and can be left at default unless you want to experiment. At this point we can save the config file and close it. Navigate to ROMs slash boot animations and make a copy of one of the existing .sh files. Rename this copy to match the name of your new boot animation folder. Now open this newly renamed sh file in a text editor. We want to change line 19 to point to the folder of our newly added boot animation. It would look like this. Also change line 21 and give a more descriptive name for the boot animation. This doesn't need to be exact. This is simply the text that will be shown on the screen when you're switching boot animations. After we're finished, we can save and close the sh file. This last step is optional, but if you use custom box art, you'll probably want to follow it to really tidy things up. Using one of the existing PNG files stored at ROMs slash boot animations slash IMGS, you can create a box art image for your custom boot animation using a graphics editing software like Photoshop or GIMP. Just grab one of the boot animation slides that you created, resize it to match one of these existing box arts, then save it as a PNG with the same name as the .sh file you created, drop it in the IMGS folder, and you're good to go. All that's left to do is to reconnect the SD card to our 35XX and give it a try. That is pretty cool. Well, that'll wrap it up for this video, folks. Uh, you've not only learned how to install custom boot animations, but also how to create your very own. Your RG35XX is now as unique as your gaming style. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more retro gaming and emulation content. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy gaming, my friends.